Welcome to my presentation, Python Framework for Wind Turbines, Enabling Test Automation of Movit. Um, I wrote this paper together and made the presentation together with three other colleagues, Markus Wiens, Niklas Rickbarte, and Mareike Leimeister. Um, we are all research associates at Fraunhofer IWIS, um, the Fraunhofer Institute for Wind Energy Systems in Bremerhaven in Germany. Um, the first introduction to Movit. Um, Movit is a developed in-house tool at Fraunhofer IWIS. It's using Modelica to um, simulate wind turbines completely objectively object-oriented and it's a fully coupled aero hydro servo elastic simulation for those wind turbines. We can simulate wind turbines onshore and offshore, and we can simulate bottom fixed or even floating substructures. The motivation of the Python framework for wind turbines, we name it PyWid, according to Movit. Um, there are hundreds to thousands of simulations for one wind turbine you need to perform, and therefore you need an easy to set up approach to set up all this uh, lot of simulations. And also the post-processing for all the simulations should be automatized because it would need a lot of time to do it by hand. Um, and also we do a test automation, which enables the users of the simulation software move it to detect potential problems in the simulation software fast and easily. So you change something in move it, you use the Python framework and see if everything goes well. Okay, the structure of the Python framework, this is just an overview. There are three general steps. The first one is the input module. The second one is the simulation manager. And the third and last one is the post-processing. Um, in the input module, you can use YAML files. They are similar to JSON files, but they have some advantages. So we use YAML. You can also use custom templates or derived templates um, from, yeah, derived other simulations, or you can use the script uh, to create those templates. And as an optional step, you can use the design of experiments, which is very useful if you try to set up hundreds or thousands of simulations um, to just combine all your input parameters. And then you have the experiment generator that creates experiment groups from all these simulations. Um, potential input variables can be, for example, wind speed, wind shear, wind seeds. Yeah, something like that. All the parameters you need to for a simulation of a wind turbine. The second step is the simulation manager, which is the, which is the core of the program. So at first, you need to set up your package. That's what Movit does. Um, all the equations you need for your simulation of the wind turbine are coded in Movit. And the first step the Python framework does is setting up this package to choose the right turbine and the right equations. And after that, there is the setup of the translation, which means the code is translated into C code, so it can be solved by Daimler Law later. Um, there's another optional step for um, generating wind. Sometimes when you want to use very complex wind physics, um, we create wind fields. And the last step is setting up the simulations where you can change several parameters, for example, the wind speed or use another wind field. And after that, you can choose if you want to process your simulations in serial mode or in parallel mode. And as a result, you get the simulation results, which are MAT files. Yeah, and the last step is the post-processing, which in this picture is very small, but involves a lot of a lot of steps depending on what you want to see. For example, checking for simulation errors, converting result files, for example, to CSV or NetCDF if you don't want to use the map files, and to compare the results with references, which is one very, uh, very important step for the test automation. 
there's also the uh, possibility to create several plots. And we also use an automated verification of simulation results. That means you have reference results from other simulation tools, for example, Bladers, and you can compare them to the simulation results from Movit. And there is a um, procedure from one of my colleagues to make sure that the results are the same or nearly the same. And for the plot, you can also create probability density functions and power spectral densities. Okay, so this is the overview in whole. Um, it's a framework for automation of hundreds or thousands of simulations. It's easy to set up and simulations can be performed um, in parallel mode, but it's also possible to use distributed computing to not just use one computer to perform the simulations, but a lot of computers. Okay, regarding the test automation, here's one example for the test automation. The blue line is the reference result where we, we know that this simulation works fine. Um, it gives expected results. And for this example, I changed the blade parameter. Um, it's not very important for the example, but it is uh, the center of gravity. And then you can see that the results look very different. The mean value is quite the same, but the frequency um, is very high. And this is an example which is automatically created by the test automation and can be reviewed by an experienced engineer and he can decide what's wrong in the simulation code. Okay, an outlook. What we also want to do with the Python framework, we want to implement optimization. So the framework should have the opportunity to change the design parameters. So go into Mobit, change design parameters, make simulations, compare those results to your references and do an optimization loop. We also want to implement an easier setup of design load cases. This is a standard thing. Um, I think not only in Germany, but in Europe to design wind turbines, you have to do these thousands of simulations and they are quite the same for all the wind turbines. So there should be an easy setup for those design load cases. And we also want to do more post-processing, for example, a fatigue load evaluation, remaining lifetime calculation, and also an automatic decision if the test from test automation passed or failed. Okay, let's come to the conclusions. Hundreds or thousands of simulations can be easily set up via input files. The combination of parameters can be performed with minimal user input via design of experiments. We have a fast execution with parallel and or distributed computing and the modular coding approach leads to easy further development of the program, for example, more post-processing. Yes, here are some references. So that's the paper from this conference and we have a website about all the uh, references regarding Movit, it's movit.info. Yeah, sorry, this is in German. <laughs> Thanks for your attention. This is a very nice picture of some of my colleagues. I like it very much. Thank you. And yeah, please ask your questions.